It's a solids removal game, so you know that's what most of these tanks are in a, in a plant, typically Lake Greenway. It's you settle the heavy, the heavy stuff. In the primary tanks, we'll see anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of the solids and the dissolved solids or the suspended solids removed in those tanks. Uh, so it goes on to the aeration process, which is essentially a bug farm. It's teeming with bacteria that will take the suspended solids out of that flow. In the, in the summertime, the river flow is down so low, uh, the wastewater treatment plant effluent makes up a significant portion of the river in the dry seasons. So an overflow from a wastewater plant is a lot more uh, critical uh, in the dry weather flow or the summertime. So these these tanks allow us to, to store that flow and hopefully it doesn't get to the river. Uh, these are the final clarifiers completed as part of the recent Greenway expansion. These tanks can handle upwards of 100, they're designed for 100 million gallons a day. What they do is they take the bacteria from the aeration tanks. Uh, the bacteria can settle in the bottom of these tanks and is collected, pumped back to the, through the system. And then the clear supernatant coming off the top over the weirs uh, goes out to the disinfection system. This is our, the Trojan UV disinfection system. This disinfects the, the effluent before it leaves the plant and goes to the river. Uh, this system has been in place for roughly 20 years and uses UV light at a certain, a certain wavelength to kill the bacteria. Uh, a lot of the issues lie out in the collection system uh, with the way the, the subdivisions and the system was built in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Uh, and it just what it does is basically send rainwater directly to these plants and they can't handle it. The flow can you know, easily double or triple in a matter of hours and with it being a biological process there's no way it can adapt that quickly. So uh, for the sake of the plants to maintain the capacity anything that's above uh, the, the treatment capacity of the plant has to be sent to the river. The quality of the river has improved significantly over the last 30 years uh, and a lot of that is attributable to the, the performance of the wastewater plants through London and you know it is taken very seriously and you know there's a long-term outlook how we're going to maintain what we have now but also how we're going to start to replace some of the capacity that we have because some of it will be approaching 100 years old in the next 20 to 30 years.